Good morning. Uh, I'm making this video because I'm actually having an upper and lower uh, eyelid lift done today. So I'm having three things done. I'm having um, uh, additional skin removed here uh, on both of the eyelids. Then I'm having um, uh, the excess fat or the prolapse fat underneath my eyelid removed uh, so that it will reduce the appearance of this dark circle. And then finally, I'm actually having a little bit of skin excised under each of these eyes to tighten that up because once the fat is removed, the skin will be very saggy uh, underneath there. So uh, I've got about 17 uh, millimeters of excess uh, skin in this eye and about 19 in this eye. The surgeon is going to leave four to five millimeters of excess skin above the actual eyelid uh, crease so that it doesn't completely and drastically alter my appearance, but it will remove the hooding and give me um, a somewhat of a visible eyelid where you can see my eyelashes. Now underneath here, you can see if I take my finger and I actually pull back on that, you can see that that fat bat or that the uh, circle under my eye actually goes away because it is just the shadow uh, of that prolapsed fat. Uh, so I'm very excited. Uh, I'm going to probably, I'm going to do my best to document this the whole way through, uh, starting with what, uh, my recovery looks like, and then finally going, uh, towards the end, uh, with my finished results. So, uh, I guess my next video will be, uh, after I have the surgery this afternoon. And so, uh, either early evening or maybe tomorrow morning. Good morning. It's January 26th. It's the morning after I had my upper and lower eyelid uh, blepharoplasty surgery or eyelid surgery. Uh, I told you in the previous video that they were going to uh, cut out uh, excess sin about skin, excuse me, above each of my eyelids, which they did. Uh, also that they were going to remove the pads, the fat pads that were under my eyelids. And they actually did that by um, making an incision on the inside of the lash line and the pink part there. And then when they were done with that, they excised a small piece of skin from here uh, underneath the eyelid in order to tighten that up and then to preserve the muscle that uh, holds up your eyelid or to allow it to grow back so that you don't get those droopy eyelids that are pulled down they actually uh, run a string through here and then it's tied actually back here on the side I can feel it tied right back here uh, it's actually what I can feel probably more than anything um, the experience was really good. Uh, they were running a little bit late in the office, which just uh, was building my anxiety a little bit and my blood pressure was very high when I went in there, but I think because of my anxiety, uh, that was the reason, but I'll keep an eye on that. Um, the anesthesia was a twilight anesthesia and I thought that it was going to, I'd still be sort of awake and be able to talk and who knows, maybe I was, uh, but as far as I remember for the most part, I just went out and then the next thing I remember was them waking me up in the recovery area there, and Leland was there uh, ready to take me home. Although I do remember at one point saying, I, feeling them doing something on this eye, and I think it was when they were probably getting to the very end um, and just uh, stitching that up there. Uh, it wasn't super painful or anything. I just was aware of it, probably as part of coming out as the anesthesia. So, um, you know, I, I was coached to not uh, comment about what my looks look like within the first couple of weeks because it is a longer process, especially since I had the bottom part done uh, where they uh, took skin there. That scar is going to be a little longer to heal. Um, but uh, so far, uh, so far, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I guess, as happy as I could be uh, with it. Not like I said, not a lot of pain. Uh, or anything like that. So um, hopefully I'll get some little better light here and uh, uh, Leland's setting up some great photos or some great stills, pardon me, to capture um, uh, to capture all this as well. Good morning. So uh, this is kind of day two after I had my surgery. Um, looking here and looking in the mirror and looking at some photos, I don't see a lot of differences. Uh, I did have a lot more swelling yesterday throughout the day between the time I made the video uh, and this morning. Uh, so I think I might actually be a little bit more swollen than what I was. But a couple of things like in here and in here, these items have kind of, uh, or these uh, knots have uh, gotten a little bit smaller, which is good. Uh, I'm noticing that I've got some bumping up here on the tape, and I'm not even sure what this tape is for. I think it's for the uh, incisions that I have inside my eyelid. 
uh, from where they uh, removed some of their, or where they removed the uh, fat pockets from there. So uh, I don't see a whole lot of difference here in their recovery. I will tell you that uh, the itching has gotten pretty bad, uh, and that's uh, not a lot of fun. Not really any pain, but just the itching. So uh, anyway, I'm hoping for some uh, more dramatic uh, healing uh, between now and tomorrow. Uh, I think uh, day three to five is when uh, I should actually start seeing most of that. All right, so good afternoon. It's uh, uh, the third day after uh, my surgery. Not quite 72 hours, actually, because I did have it uh, in the afternoon. But I can see that definitely some swelling has gone down uh, a little bit. I'm starting to see some more bruising going on. I'm still having a little bit of trouble closing this eye. And that's mainly because I've got this that is swollen and kind of pulled down, that eyelid retraction, which is a potential complication for the surgery, uh, but is oftentimes temporary during the healing process. I'm really hopeful that that's what's uh, going on here and that I don't uh, actually have uh, that as a complication. Uh, I'm also still not sure what in like my stitching, what is the actual stitches and what is kind of scabs. Uh, I haven't really um, washed super well. Uh, later on this evening, I'm actually going to take a warm washcloth and let that set on my uh, sutures there for just a little bit to try to clean that up a little bit. Uh, I have taken a couple showers. That hasn't been that big of a deal. Just, you know, held my my uh, uh, hand up there so that uh, I didn't get water in my eyes. But anyway, uh, it looks like uh, it's coming along and I'm starting to be able to see uh, where I think that's going to be about the size of my eyelids, I think. But again, I'm trying not supposed to actually predict anything until uh, the healing process is mostly done. So uh, that's it on that. And uh, I'll uh, do another video tomorrow. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, it is Saturday, uh, the fourth day uh, after my surgery there. So this morning I did remove the adhesive tapes that I uh, called my doctor and they were actually just to prevent swelling from going below that place. So when I took them off, I was quite happy to see that the uh, circles that were under my eyes that were caused by the fat, the prolapse fat in my lower eyelid, those circles are now pretty much gone. I've got some bruising there. Uh, clearly, but uh, I think once that bruising uh, clears up, I don't think I'm going to have those bags at all anymore, maybe 10% of what I had. So I'm really pleased uh, with that, uh, really pleased with that result. Not a lot of changes on the top. Um, I still don't, I don't get my stitches out until next Friday, so I'm a little bummed about that. I was hoping I could get them out sooner uh, just so that I can, you know, complete this and kind of move on. Uh, but anyway, just very happy with, uh, with what I've got going on with the underside here. Things are clearing up. Uh, the swelling is not much more down than it was yesterday, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. So, uh, we'll check in, uh, tomorrow and see how the rest of the healing is going. Hey there. Good afternoon. It's uh Sunday. Uh, I think it's the 30th maybe today of January. Uh, this is the fifth day after I had my eyelid surgery. Uh, not really a lot of changes here uh, to report. I still have the bruise under here. Uh, under eye bags are still gone, which I'm grateful for. Uh, still having about the same amount of swelling on my eyelids, upper and uh, lower. Still got this eyelid that's retracting just a little bit. Uh, really, I know I shouldn't be, but I'm getting a little nervous about that because I want to make sure that I don't have that uh, as a complication. So uh, anyway, we'll check back in tomorrow. And uh, hopefully there will be some of the swelling uh, down a little bit. I'm having a little bit of trouble not sleeping on my side like I normally do. I keep waking up in the middle of the night and kind of like being with the pillow uh, right here, which is definitely not helping with the swelling situation. So still continuing just to ice uh, two or three times a day on that. So we'll see you soon. Hey there. Uh, a little later today. Today's the sixth day uh, since my uh, surgery. Uh, I actually went back to work today. Uh, for the first full day, um, it was a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I haven't had a lot of change in my healing here, maybe just a tiny bit less bruising. Uh, still quite a bit up here and right here. And then you can really just see the yellow around the eyes in general. But uh, what I really struggled with today was uh, spending a lot of time looking at the computer screen uh, and having some overhead lighting in this eye that's got just ever so slightly this retracted lower eyelid 
it's unbelievable how uh, irritated it is all the time. I'm sure it looks a little bit irritated. It definitely feels a little irritated. It's a little bit red uh, around the uh, the ball, the uh, eye itself. Uh, not to be gross, they're pulling that down. Uh, but it's irritated, so it's watering constantly and yet needing to have eye drops put in it because it's a uh, very dry. So uh, I think I said yesterday that I actually am getting my stitches out on Friday. So I'm looking very forward to getting my stitches out uh, and having my consultation with my doctor to see uh, if there's anything we can do to speed that uh, retracted eyelid process um, a little bit quicker. Now, truthfully, uh, the part uh, about this surgery that I was hesitant to do is what like may possibly be what's causing this. And I was actually afraid of this as a side effect. So um, uh, the eyelid retraction that is, and that is where they came and they pinched a little bit of skin out from under here because they were concerned that after they removed the prolapse fat uh, from under the eyelids that there would be a ton of excess skin, which made sense to me. But my research told me that potentially when they remove skin from underneath, uh, even if they're not going through the muscle, that that is potentially a side effect. So uh, not irreversible, not something that can't be fixed if that's uh, what is going to be my outcome. Uh, just not something that I really was uh, wanting to have to go back and have redone. So, And I'm jumping the gun a little bit here uh, because I don't even know for sure that uh, it's a permanent thing. So, uh, Hey guys, I didn't make a video for the last day or two. Uh, today's Thursday, so I think this is probably about day 9, maybe day 10. Uh, work's been a little bit rough the last... Well, it was good on Tuesday pretty rough yesterday. I don't know why, but both of my lower eyelids were swollen and I was having to like uh, actually, you know, put ice packs on them during the day throughout the day at work uh, between my sessions that I do. Uh, and then today was better overall, uh, but still not as good as Tuesday. So I don't really know what to expect. Tomorrow I am actually having my stitches out. Tomorrow's Friday uh, and it'll be day 11. So I'll make a video for tomorrow and I'm very excited uh, just to get rid of these uh, stitches for sure. I've got a couple of really tender spots here where they like sewed up under my eyelids. Uh, I'd like to keep my eyelid uh, structure in place there uh, for the lower. Um, and I can see here that, uh, you know, that I had, a, I think it was this side that I had a pretty significant bruise uh, still. Uh, and I think that pretty much went away last night or throughout the day today because it looks better now even than it did this morning. Uh, and I have a little bit of circles going on underneath here, and I think that actually is just from the shadow of my swollen eyelids, because the tear troughs where I had the circles before were so low. I mean, they were like down here, if you remember what that looked like in the original video. So uh, really excited to have the stitches out tomorrow, and uh, I'll make another video then. Okay, it's Friday, big day today. Uh, I got to have my stitches out after, oh gosh, I guess it was nine or ten days. Uh, but anyway, uh, still going to be some scabbing that's uh, going on there, as you can see. Uh, and uh, the lower lines are a little more visible than I wanted them to be. And like I said, I, I actually was really just not even certain I wanted to do the bottom uh, as far as the skin removal goes. Because that was just to kind of tighten up that skin after they removed the... Uh, the prolapse fat in there. And if I had opted not to do that procedure, then I wouldn't have uh, any scars on the bottom at all. And I'd be almost 100% ready to go. But uh, anyway, I'm thinking within about four or five days, the rest of the scabbing will fall off and the healing process will just continue. So I'm feeling good about it. Uh, I'll probably be a couple more days before I really do any more videos. I think I've kind of captured the essence of what's going on here. Um, but as I get closer to having no scabs left, uh, I'll make another couple of videos. Okay, uh, today's Saturday. Uh, one day after I got my stitches out, I think things are really looking good. I can still see a little bit of scabbing and stuff up here, but that's going to go away. But as you can see, when I relax my eyes, those lines are right in my uh, uh, natural uh, creases or folds there. Uh, these are a little bit swollen still, the stitches, so they look a little bit bruised, but uh, overall, I feel really good about them, so uh, not really any complications. The dry eye is getting better. The swelling under the lids is getting a little bit better, um, so I think we're going to have a pretty good result. I'm very happy with it. Uh, hey there, good afternoon. Uh, I guess today's Monday, uh, before the two-week mark of Tuesday, uh, but I, I'm just really pleased with the results I've just seen in the last couple days since I made another video. 
Um, most of my, my scarring around here, you can still see it, but it's really starting to look like the color of the rest of my skin. Uh, the scars on my upper eyelids uh, are getting pretty well uh, just set into the uh, creases that are naturally there, so I'm really happy with that uh, very much. Um, I'm starting to feel a lot more comfortable. I don't have any more dry eye going on. I'm still a little tiny bit pulled down on the lid there, but it's gotten much better. Uh, and I'm sure that within just a few uh, more days, probably, or a week, it's going to be just, uh, it's going to be just fine. So anyway, um, it's been a really great journey, two weeks uh, of having this done. I've been really pleased with it. I think that my overall appearance is just going to be so much better. I'm very happy about the, the bags uh, underneath the eyes being gone. And they are still there just a little bit, but I really do think it's just because these stitches, these sutures themselves, are actually sticking out and those are creating just a little bit of a shadow because the shadow's in a different place than it used to be. So uh, anyway, that's about it.